all my picks back, and I want David goddamn Putney just because I feel like it. You're out of your mind. Yeah, I am. Haven't I proved that already? You make this deal right now, Tom, and you get Bo Callahan. Say it with me. You get Bo. Come on, Tom. Say it with me, you pancake-eating motherfucker. <laughs> Well, good evening, everybody. Game time, Brian, coming from my mama's basement, a.k.a. the Man Cave. We are getting ready for our live stream that starts at 8 o'clock. I wanted to get a little video up. I played Draft Day. I actually like the movie Draft Day. I know it's got some negative... We, you know, we, we talked about the movie a lot prior to going to the draft, uh, getting you psyched up for it. I always like the wheeling and dealing of draft day. But this all goes back, circling back, to many camps. And, yes, the veterans are now in the building with, um, with the rookies, which is our rookies are going to play a huge part Um a huge part in the success or the lack of success in this upcoming year. And I got news for you. In Dallas, it's the same way around the league. The only difference is, now, normally all teams around the league, they, um, they count on rookies, but they also supplement those rookies with veteran free agents. You see it with the Eagles. You see it with everybody. And yes, would we like to have free agents? Of course, it fills the gaps. It fills the holes going into the draft. But, 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 our organization has let us down as far as, um, as far as getting these deals done with our veterans that will allow us to then go out you know, and shop in the open market. Settle down just a little bit. Jerry, you need to understand, my man. You are upset because of the lack of success by our team, and it seems like you're taking it out on the quarterback. Uh, I think it starts from the Towboy to the penthouse. Everybody has to look in the mirror. Winning 12 games in Dallas, uh, let's put it this way. Winning 12 games in most organizations would be wonderful. Three years in a row, mind you, it's almost impossible to do. We've done it and yet only have one playoff win to show for it. Not good. But, Jerry, you're part of the problem. I don't have the patience to jack with you today. Jerry, I'm going to jack with you, bro. I'm going to listen to your quarterback, Dak Prescott, who needs a deal or does not need a deal. You answer the question. That's what it seems like these days. It's like... Are we going to go there or are we going to not go there? Well, I'm going there right now. Uh, let's hear Dak Prescott. Let's hear Big Dak. We're just going to briefly listen to see what he's got to say. Mike was saying he thought this was your best offseason program since he's been here with you. One, would you agree? And two, if you do, why is that? What? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd agree just first and foremost is uh, it's what I put into this game. Um, it's what this game means to me. I talk about it every all season. Um, any, any chance we talk, that, that my focus is always getting better, getting better overall in every way that I can, every aspect of my game, and making sure I push the other people around me. And Mike's comments are, are a result of, of us doing that from the time this all season began, um, before it began with the team activities, us guys getting together um, to really – uh, the growth, I guess you can say, in my play and the, the jump I'm making is the second year in his offense as well, is being more comfortable right with the footwork. Uh, guys, the receivers around me, they're second year in it. They're more comfortable. They're more confident. Things are just faster off the line from, from the huddle uh, through the play to the scramble drill when a play doesn't work. Um, we all we were truly understanding. Um, everybody understands, I guess you can say, and it's just making the communication, my approach, uh, and just allowing me, obviously, to play with more confidence. It was such an uncharacteristic performance by the team to end last season. Has that been any motivation at this stage, or is that something this, this stage is... There's my guy, Jalen Brooks, baby. Yourself and, and, ...and the motivation or what you need really kind of goes into training camp forward. Yeah, I mean, the motive, that, that, that should be the start of your offseason. I mean, that's got to motivate you individually. Um, 
as a man, uh, and then obviously as a football player, to, to go and accomplish the offseason that you want to have, take the steps necessary that you need in the time before you get back with the team. And then when you get back into the team group, obviously um, everybody's feel, everybody feels it. And so that urgency even increases um, at that. But at this point, it's about improving on where we are. Um, we're in a much better place right now than we were a year ago at this time. And it's about continuing to make those steps. And Wow. Yeah, that, that, that'll always be a motivation factor, depending on who you are, um, what you did in that game and how it played out. Sure, right, second okay. year in Mike's offense. Um, yeah, that, that last year at this time, right, was, was the first time you're hearing these things. To, you're on the 500 level now, you know what I mean? And you're talking these That's plays a big in point. particular game situations, um, down the distances, and not just, you know, the, the, uh, the breaks, the alignments, and things like that, right? We were getting into the, the, the nuts and the bolts of the thing, so... Um, yeah, it's just year two of anything. I'm sure year two, and you know, right. year two. Now, he has a bit. He has a point there. Um, I ask you, Eagle fans, are you expecting to go to the Super Bowl this year with Kellen Moore? I guess you could, but we're hearing, you know, again, don't blame me. Don't blame me. It's multiple sources out of OTAs. It's only OTAs. You got plenty of time to get the act together. A lot of good things are happening in Eagleville, especially in the secondary. But Jalen Hurts is struggling picking up uh, Kellen Moore, and um, he's not looking great. And that's not me. That's that's a lot of people that are there, a lot of the reporters. That's what they're reporting. Now, thank God you do it now, right? But what I'm trying to say is first year in any offense is rough. We were able to do 12 wins. Dak threw for 36 touchdowns and nine touchdowns in year one of Mike McCarthy's offense. Pretty damn impressive. So it is nice to be able to build off of that. So I would just tell the Eagle fans, be patient with Kellen Moore. Uh, from what I hear, and he's doing some read option, which that's the key to, to Jalen Hurts. That's the key. Dak, the key, is unlocking what has been missing. And what has been missing is playoff success. Uh, yeah, you know, from the kickoff in the playoff game, it was bad. Not just Dak. From the defense to everything was off. So let's hear what else he's got to say. When you're covering, you're, you're a lot more better, a lot confident in it. And I just think that um, us and the quarterbacks, we just broke down at the end of practice and talked about what we felt good about this, this offseason uh, in comparison. And, yeah, that was the first thing is being in year two, Everything's faster. People on the outside will say, look at the team. They say you lost a lot of guys. You didn't replace a lot of veterans. You're going with a lot of young guys. They wouldn't say you're better off talent-wise. And, and how would you address that? Talent's just the beginning, first off. Um, and you, you don't you don't win games with just talent. So, uh, and, and you don't win games on paper, and talent's really not decided on paper. So um, I understand what it looks like, what it may look like from the outside. I understand the lack of moves that gets done. Um, Creates that 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 right um, yeah. conversation, uh, <laughs> but I'm confident the men we all have. in, Obviously, baby. I, I just said it when I'm talking about breaking the quarterbacks down. For the last three years, going back to I guess Tyler Smith's rookie class, right? I was like, man, it's the best rookie class I've seen. To said it last year, to honestly, I said it again. I'll say it now, and very confidently say that they're better than last year's best class. And that's credit to each and every one of those guys who've come in with the right mindset, credit to our coaches that uh, I'm confident in what we've got, what we can do. Second year in this offense, um, you'll see some guys that, you know, maybe just had, didn't have the opportunity, whose opportunity. Yeah, to that's a big one. Big plays, guys like Keep Jared it low, Dak. Proper, Keep it low. Um, so the trolls. You know, a bunch of dudes, a bunch of guys that, you know, just yes. young, we but, but We scratched the surface last seven, year. Seven, so some big plays on both sides of the ball, big energy. On both oh, sides I'll listen to one more, then I got to get out of here. kind of already have a training camp feel to your, your reps in early June. I love it. Uh, we all know I love to, to compete, talk trash. Um, so that, that that's the, the base of it. You have to have fun doing this. And we know each and every day we're going to come in, we're going to compete against each other. All right, we're going to leave it right there because i got to get ready for my live stream. But here's the deal, people. If Dak Prescott's okay with what the offseason was, then who am I, right? If he's saying, and this is not the first time I've heard this, wait and see. Everybody is so impressed with this rookie class. And the people that I trust, um, I believe what they're saying. Now, is that going to translate from OTAs, mini camp to a training camp? See, there, we lost some key guys. We had lost some key guys in um, 
training camp. And when we got to the regular season, we didn't really lock in to any particular rookie. We kind of relied on the veterans. So, um, you know, I'm excited about last year's draft class not named Mozzie. Nothing against Mozzie, but this is not about Mozzie. This is the other guys that you guys don't, non-Cowboy fans, and maybe some Cowboy fans who forget. We'll touch on that as camp gets closer. But Dak Prescott does not look like a man who's worried or upset. He looks rather excited. And those same sentiments were were uttered by Mike McCarthy earlier in the day. And listen, am I sitting here tell you I'm excited? Right now, um, I would say I got a quiet confidence in hearing everything I'm hearing, what's coming out of certain camps close by. Um, we are going to be ready to roll. Let's just hope we can stay healthy and get through training camp. But I got to go. Um, I got a live stream coming up, and this will be issue. I will upload this and get it out later th uh, this evening. All right, everybody. That's a little taste from Dak Prescott. He's excited. Um I don't know how long we have Dak for. If it's for one more year, let's make it a super year. All right, let me know what you think. Mike. I just realized I just realized who game time Brian was. I didn't know it from earlier. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. <laughs>